Okay, so uh, I will uh, talk about the Ruby uh, memory management hacks. Uh, by the way, I uh, get uh, I want to get a uh, 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 short email address, so I get uh, uh, this domain rvm.jp. Uh, uh, but recently, the Ruby, Ruby version manager are released, so. <laughs> It, uh, I, I want to mean that uh, uh, Ruby virtual machine, but uh, uh, Ruby virtual manager is more famous, so <laughs> it is not a uh, domain for the Ru uh, Ruby virtual manager. Okay, so let's talk about uh, my presentation. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, the current Ruby memory management is uh, something sucks, <laughs> and, and uh, but Ruby C Ruby is open source, so we can modify and make it uh, uh, make uh, it better. So my presentation is the hacks. So let's talk about uh, and uh, another. President of uh, Ruby Japanese Ruby community, Takashi san, uh, pointed out that uh, this year's Ruby conference seems that speakers are starting a uh, next topic advanced rails, uh, not rails, but uh, no SQL topics or binary topics, and so on. So everyone gets bored with their own topics, uh, he said. And uh, this, this uh, talk about uh, memory management hacks, so it means that. Uh, <laughs> Do I bored with virtual machine? <laughs> <laughs> it, no, no, no. Uh, my my uh, concern is uh, only a performance. So memory management is very important uh, feature of the performance. So I want to talk about the uh, 192 uh, improvement, uh, performance improvement around the memory management. And uh, also I uh, talk about the fiber performance and memory profile features. And, uh, Progress of some researches. Um, safe in, uh, let, let's talk about the self introduction myself. Um, I'm Koichi Sasada. Um, Koichi is a given name, and Sasada is a family name. Uh, this is the sixth Ruby conference and fifth uh, talk on this uh, such topics. Um, my main job is a lecturer um, at the University of Tokyo. And uh, this is advertisement. So if you want to talk, uh, research uh, uh, about uh, Ruby and uh, uh, virtual machine, not a language virtual machine, but uh, virtual machine monitor or some operating system uh, in, uh, research in Japan, please uh, contact me. And uh, I have four students in Sasada Laboratory and two students working on Ruby, uh, Ruby. so I'll introduce uh, their achievements in this uh, presentation. And I'm, uh, as you know, I, I'm a Ruby committer and I'm a member of Asakusa RB and, uh, <laughs> and a Ruby Kaigi organizer and a PC chair. So if you want to talk at the Ruby, Next Ruby Kaigi, uh, please contact me. So I, I will uh, re recommend you your presentation <laughs> <laughs> at PC meeting. So this is the fifth time uh, go show. <laughs> this is uh, uh, no improvement ra my language skills, but <laughs> 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 so so this is the same uh, caution, same notice, and. So, ah, uh, important is uh, you, you can only see the, this slide. Uh, if, uh, if I cannot speak uh, good English, but you can see this slide. I write all of, all of my uh, contents in this slide. So please, uh, please go from if you can this slide. Okay. Uh, yeah, about language, so this is a quote, uh, quoted by Matmosan. 
So, Babel, uh, Tau of Babel are, are broken, so please uh, use easy English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk about. Uh, so, this, this uh, not, not yet. Uh, this talk is not about Java, of, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Gosling, uh, the Java designer. And not, of, of course, not of, of uh, part Python or PHP language, or not of, uh, about <laughs> Japanese roots, or not about uh, Mass Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I have no compatibility with Mass Monster. So um, it's not about uh, much linearization, such a chaotic world, and uh, not about uh, Rails. So <laughs> if you want to, uh, if you hope to listen uh, uh, something about the Rails, please go away. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, this talk is ab not about uh, Ruby. <laughs> so, wha what is about? Uh, you can you see this? So, this is a PGP eleven. So, this is about C. Uh, this presentation is about C. So, I talk about uh, C implementation and uh, Ruby C implementation. So, if you if you, uh, this presentation is not about uh, Ruby programmers, but C, uh, C Ruby programmers and uh, Ruby core team or <laughs> Ruby extension writers. And this presentation requires the knowledge of Ruby internals. And, uh, uh <laughs> 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 it seems uh, interesting, so, and uh, it, Good time to dinner. <laughs> or you can play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you are quiet. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's uh, talk about the, the, this talk. Today I want to talk about the three topics uh, about the memory management and the VM performance improvement and the knowledge virtual machine progress. So advanced memory management hacks. So this is the title of this presentation. Um, I want to, uh, uh, so I have three topics about this in this uh, main topics. Um, I think memory management is very import important. For, exa uh, uh, for example, the memory is very big and exp uh, uh, expensive. Very big, very big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, this, this picture is taken in at the Computer History Museum at the uh, Mountain View. I built a Univac memory delay line memory tank. Memory tank, mm, very big. <laughs> so memory is very, very expensive. So we, we need to, to keep the memory consumption. And uh, as you know, me, uh, Maroc and free, uh, free management is in yourself is uh, very, very difficult. So we need a garbage collection. Fortunately, we, we ha uh, our Ruby has uh, garbage collection. But garbage collection has uh, overhead. And memory management is uh, very uh, important for the long running services. Such, uh, if you running a uh, uh, 30 year continuous learning, learning if, uh, memory management is uh, very uh, important. By the way, yeah? Uh, thank you. So this, uh, this is uh, uh, my, my birthday. <laughs> this is. Thank you very much. So uh, I, I'm very uh, old software, so I, I, ha uh, I don't have uh, automatic garbage collector, so <laughs> My, my uh, uh, garbage is in my room. I, I, I collect uh, by myself. So I, I think it is important. So uh, automatically, uh, automatic memory management. Okay. So uh, memory man uh, I summarize uh, me uh, memory management progress in FreeRuby. FreeRuby. So. CRuby has several issues about uh, memory management. So CRuby only has a naive garbage collection. So this 
so this, this means that the not the Java virtual machine, but not the dotnet, but other uh, virtual machine, including smart Java, etc. Uh, Ruby, uh, CRuby uh, use a uh, own original garbage collection, uh, it, uh, but uh, uh, against uh, Java, Java virtual machine or some other virtual machines. And why uh, the garbage collection is naive is uh, the programmer friendly and garbage collector friend unfriendly C extension interface. So you can write a, a C extension library easily, but garbage collector cannot be managed uh, more uh, cleverly. And other uh, uh, problem is uh, not uh, memory profiler is not there. So you cannot uh, analyze uh, you, uh, your application's memory consumption and object fragmentation. Uh, I describe after the, the, this slide. So uh, the solution of this uh, memory management is one, one of the uh, uh, memory, mani uh, so mem memory management improvement is uh, uh, using a JDB. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, I, I understand what you want to say. So, of course, I have other ideas. <laughs> if I am Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> or Ruby, Mac Ruby or Rubinius. <laughs> they has, uh, they, they has a very clever garbage collector. So, if you have memory uh, problems, so please move to such uh, uh, alternative uh, implementations, but uh, in CRuby, we I uh, we uh, we try to uh, improve the memory management. So this is a, a little uh, improvement. So the garbage collection of CRuby is not a, a generational garbage collector. So if you have a old long life object, might be a uh, garbage collection uh, pressure. Uh, this means that uh, the such an uh, object uh, increase uh, uh, frequency of garbage collection. So, uh, for example, the node, node, node object or instruction sequence such as uh, bytecode uh, byte code object uh, uh, may be a uh, uh, long life. Um, um, especially the inline cache entries in the instruction sequence uh, they, uh, are not is represented by a node object. So, and modular classes are also a long life. So, on 192, uh, inline cache entries is no longer garbage, mani garbage collection managed object. So, so we manage uh, the such a uh, inline cache entries in uh, it explicitly. So uh, this, uh, this uh, technique reduces, reduces the long lived node objects. So it, it uh, reduces the uh, garbage collection count. And I also planning to uh, remove uh, uh, node objects uh, in when Parsing phase uh, create uh, par in par parsing phase many many uh, many uh, node objects are generated. So I want to avoid such a uh, un uh, uh, unused uh, node objects. And next uh, topic is the memory profiler. Shiruby uh, doesn't have memory profiler support, so I. Uh, uh, I create a new uh, memory management uh, primitive, the mem size of method and uh, experimental memory profiler. And uh, these methods are not expected to work uh, except CRuby. Uh, there are many uh, other implementations, so I, I need such a notice. One nine 
to uh, reintroduce the uh, uh, object space object space library. So this library has the following following methods uh, on, uh, to the uh, object space module. Uh, I don't describe the details, so you can read uh, rdoc or uh, of such uh, libraries. Uh, for example, uh, if you uh, uh, require this object space library, you can uh, 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 you can calculate the uh, memory size of uh, the uh, 100 length string. This uh, returns the 100, and time time object is also uh, consume uh, some byte and. This is the uh, uh, 60 byte and thread object. If you make you if you make a thread object, the such a huge memory size uh, consumed, you can you can understand this this uh, memory size of uh, API. And also the file interface use uh, the such a uh, memory concentrate. And to achieve uh, such a uh, memory size of interface, we, uh, we uh, change the uh, key data representation. As you know, maybe you know, uh, key data lacks the C structure. So traditional key data, current key data represent includes the uh, point out to the structure and the mark function and free function pointer. Uh, to to uh, to make garbage collection correctly, so and you can use uh, you can make a uh, uh, data structure uh, lack lack value with this macro. But key data uh, lacks a uh, uh, type identity and the memory size function. So if you uh, if you apply the uh, Key data objects, memory size of um, apply the memory size of the key data object. You cannot uh, know the you cannot find out the, the memory consumption. So I add, uh, we add the memory size function to the key data. So how to do it is uh, this slide. Um, example, for example, uh, the time. Time object uh, lacks the C, C such, uh, such a C uh, uh, time data type, and you you declare such a uh, mark function, free function, and memory size function includes the structure, and this this structure uh, includes the name of this key data, and you can make this. You can make this uh, lock object with uh, this macro, and uh, we uh, uh, we make a new C API. So if you you need to identify the, the such a key data type, you can uh, know the you can return uh, you can get the name of the key data type. Is this API? And so, I uh, it is easy to make a sampling memory status uh, sampling memory profiler, which uh, it means statistic profiler. Um, so we have uh, uh, enough tools to make a profiler memory profiler. So this is an example. Example memory profiler results of the, the uh, this this figure shows the result of memory profiler. I don't describe the detail of this picture, but you can find out the, the memory consumption of your application. It is easy to make it. Uh, this is uh, so this this is the detail of the, this picture. Um, per class object number, uh, the P, uh, P2 
uh, on this count. And no, no the statistic on big uh, big data <coughs> statistics is a new uh, API. I don't describe details, but if you want to uh, know such a uh, company profiler, you can <coughs> You can make it, it easy. Use 192. And on the other hand, sampling profiler doesn't show the the correct correct uh, uh, result of the memory consumption. So we are working on the deterministic memory profiler. Uh, one student working on this. So uh, do you? Uh, did you attend a uh, uh, JLB uh, presentation? So he sa he shows a very nice memory profiler. So we want to make such a uh, profiler. So inspired from inspired from Java real time memory profiler or Balgrin massive profiler. It it uh, make memory profiling. For C programmer, this is uh, uh, working progress research, and we uh, de make the, the the object fragment uh, make the, the memory management with OS dependent methods. So problem is the uh, Object fragmentation. So, current C Ruby, as you know, <laughs> if you, uh, if at least one object are, are there, you can, uh, we can't uh, remove this block. So, so this is a uh, object fragmentation pr problem. So we, uh, so we de divide uh, such a such a structure to use the OS, we use uh, OS dependent memory management API, MMAP, MMAP, MMAP device on Unix operating system, or similar API on Windows. We uh, allocate a bulk of such a, uh, one, 100 memories at first, and allocate uh, four kilobytes for the page. So, the possibility to the uh, remain remaining the object are low. <coughs> so this this memory management feature uh, has uh, many uh, advantages. So low object fragmentation, easy to manage with operating system memory management. If you want to return the, the free pages, you can uh, return the uh, the page with uh, with, with uh, uh, M1 Mac or M1 device system call. This system call returns directly to operating system memory manage manager. And uh, this uh, four kilobyte alignment page helps uh, bitmap mapping. Uh, Ruby Enterprise Edition uses such a technique, but uh, REE doesn't. Uh, they, they use naive techniques, so it is very easy to implement it. And uh, it is very deep, uh, deep technique, but uh, uh, its pointer to heap function can be implemented lightweight, in lightweight. So it means that uh, it, this reduces uh, garbage collection overhead. So, and the evaluation is not yet, so <laughs> So this is a message of this pre uh, presentation. I, uh, I want to know the uh, memory management problem. So if you have uh, any problem, please ask me. And uh, I, I will tune for you. And this is a uh, uh, performance improvement, uh, virtual machine performance improvement topic. Uh, I, I changed the virtual machine interaction phase a little, and uh, I 
uh, we uh, design a fiber implementation. To get the instance variable, we need to calculate something. So we, uh, I, we change the, the get, to in, get to instance interaction or set to, in, set to instance interaction. So we change the interaction cache frequency. So uh, I want to say in this slide is that the uh, YARB instruction set is uh, still unstable, so <laughs> please uh, please uh, note that if you use the YARB assembler, but I, I don't think there, there are no, I, I think there are no uh, user of the YARB assembler, so, and this is a fiber performance improvement. Uh, as you know, fiber is uh, 1.9 features and this is a collusion or semi-collusion uh, abstraction. And the, this is a primitive for a concurrent programming, not a parallel programming. The, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, problem is uh, uh, slow context switching. The fiber context switching is uh, very slow, so this is a picture of uh, context switching. If you run on the fiber A, and the machine stack pointer is here, so switch to the fiber B. Uh, at first, copy th this, uh, this area to the buffer for the fiber A, and extend the uh, stack pointer, machine stack pointer, and the copy, to copy this area to the, the, the stack, stack uh, context. So this causes uh, two machine stack copy. So it is very uh, expensive. So, but this is, uh, there is a reason to such a uh, expensive method. So the reason is the portability. So there are no general method to switch a uh, machine stacks. So, some, assem some assembler approaches ha uh, have been uh, proposed, but such uh, uh, approaches have, have a portability problem or a maintainability problem. So we use the uh, uh, OS-dependent features. So maybe OS features are well, uh, main well developed or well maintained. So we use the get context or set context on Unix. And we support the Linux, Solaris, FreeBSD, and Mac OS X. And uh, Windows on Fiverr is Fiverr API. And in other operating system, all, uh, traditional uh, machine stack copy methods are used. So the Change, change such a, uh, uh, sorry, use such a uh, OS dependent features, it is very, make, make it simple to context switching, like the, the moving a stack pointer. This is very fast. So this is a low uh, result of the context switch, switching. Windows, Linux, and so on. This is a, uh, uh, speed up ratio of the, the e environment. This line is a stack, a machine stack depth. So the cost of the copy is proportioned by the, the machine stack depth. So the most, uh, it is very uh, effective, make it effective. And for example, the clock core or fiber region uh, we compare. And the clock core uh, execution time is this uh, here. Uh, this is execution time in seconds. Um, 
191 pi bar is here. This is very slow. That's uh, uh, 192 uh, proposed pi bar method can reduce such a, a context, uh, sorry, uh, a context switching overhead. And this is uh, uh, fiber generation speed. Um, there are no, no difference. So because bec uh, it is, this is because uh, many, many garbage collection are occurred. So this is a feature, uh, our feature one. So you, you shouldn't make uh, uh, many, many fibers. And at last, I want to talk about uh, multi-version machine uh, progress. This, uh, this research is sponsored by the Sun Microsystems. And uh, he is uh, Nakada-san's uh, nob, uh, Nobu, uh, also known as Apache Monster, the uh, most fa famous uh, Ruby committer, except uh, Matsumoto-san. And uh, he, hel he helped our project. So I want to talk about multi virtual machine uh, overview and the progress. Uh, this slide is also quoted from the Matsumoto-san's keynote. And the, uh, he, he wrote that we are working on blah, 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 and uh, multi virtual machine. So this, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the what I want to talk about. Motivation of multi virtual machine research is that the parallel execution for me. And uh, they, uh, in recent years, many uh, multi core machines are, commod uh, are commodity. And uh, uh, in future, we, we will have uh, many core machines. Uh, so we need a parallel execution. It is very uh, general. Topic so, but so someone said that uh, no no no. Uh, most of people said that uh, why don't you uh, get rid of the giant rock and why don't you support a parallel threads? But parallel threads is uh, difficult for us. For uh, uh, sorry, difficult for me. So I think <laughs> it is. Uh, Bad idea. I, I think so. So I uh, my uh, our approach is the, the provide an isolated virtual machine and run them in parallel. And an another uh, uh, motivation is the application embedded virtual machines. So if you want to end the the Ruby virtual machine to your application, such as the your application or some other uh, editor or some uh, uh, mail client or some other application, uh, many, uh, it, it is easy to handle the, if you, want, uh, if you can uh, make a multi virtual machine in your application. So this is a, a model of uh, multi virtual machine. So there are many processors or processor elements and there are uh, native threads. In 191 one, one or uh, this tree, uh, only this, uh, only one virtual machine are there. But virtual machine support uh, uh, some virtual machines in the Ruby process. So this Ruby thread and this Ruby thread are isolated uh, by the object space or a virtual machine space, so these threads are, uh, can be run in parallel. So there are some, sorry, many uh, challenges of, uh, on uh, multi virtual machines. So the most, most, uh, most challenge is the most difficult problem is the compatibility. So they, uh, CRuby has many, many C global variables, so we need to, uh, we need to 
avoid such a thing, uh, global variable. And uh, of course, uh, file related information are processed global. So, for example, the working directory is sh uh, should be uh, separated in uh, each virtual machine. And uh, uh, process information, for example, the signal uh, can can be separated in the, uh, uh, every virtual machine. So we, uh, this is the implementation challenge. And design challenges are communication interface. So if you you can run uh, many virtual machines in one process, but if, if there are no uh, communication interface, they can not uh, calculate something uh, in cooperation. So this is a challenge. So we we make uh, we made uh, application interface uh, C for example C uh, 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 application interface. This interface creates a virtual machine in C level, and uh, this virtual machine run <coughs> in, C, uh, in in synchronous and this API run in uh, asynchronous. This this uh, terminology is imported from the Java thread. And the uh, Ruby API also uh, we are considering the, and the, for example, the Ruby VM.new blah, 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 uh, make a new virtual machine. And the push or pop uh, is a communication interface. It is not mature. So we, we are, uh, and, uh, we are consider, uh, we are uh, considering uh, this communication interface. Mm. Uh, and for compatibility problem, the normal uh, uh, current C, C library cannot be uh, supported in the multi-pattern machine. So if you want to work in other, uh, sorry, uh, if you want to support the multi-pattern machine on, uh, for your uh, C extension, you need to write uh, this new uh, initialized function. If you, uh, if we, uh, if MVM, uh, man MVM manager that can cannot <coughs> find out this uh, symbol, uh, this, this, uh, C extension is restricted to the uh, used by main virtual machine. This is uh, this means that the uh, traditional one virtual machine are support can can uh, use <coughs> such a uh, extension. Uh, this is the current feature, so we can make a uh, uh, virtual machine by Ruby or C API. And run in parallel in each virtual machine, and uh, we have uh, some simple virtual machine com uh, inter uh, inter virtual machine communication API. So uh, I I show you the preliminary evaluation on Nakada San's uh, MacBook. This is a uh, VM creation time. Uh, if you fork the uh, process, you need uh, uh, such a uh, uh, second. Uh, make make uh, uh, two two hundred two hundred fifty uh, process or virtual machines or uh, this is six system or threads or fiber. Uh, this is a cheap uh, cheaper than the fork, but uh, very expensive. Than the threads or fiber, mm. so we we need to optimize the VM generation. And the pinpoint, this is a pinpoint uh, example that the current virtual machine sent to the child virtual machine, and child virtual machine sent uh, return the uh, such a uh, symbol, symbol. So this is a, a, a 
com, uh, com, uh, uh, result of this uh, evaluation. This is a this this use the this result use the D ruby. So MVM uh, inter uh, inter communication is cheaper than the D ruby. So this this is why we want to make it. Uh, Make our MVM. Uh, this is a parallel execution e e example. So, make uh, some virtual machine, and uh, each virtual machine calculates a Fibonacci number. And in two cores, parallel execution can uh, achieve the speed up by two times. So this is summary of this presentation. Uh, 192 uh, improves several performance improvements. So please stay tuned. And uh, some research pro uh, I I showed the uh, some research prog progress of for, for example memory profiler or virtual machine. Okay, thank you. Can your profiler uh, <laughs> produce? Can your profiler produce the object graph, the object allocation graph? Um, you can make uh, 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 graph writer <laughs> easily. So I I make uh, such a graph with uh, Excel with the uh, raw data. Ah, uh, very, uh, very, uh, uh, no overhead for the sampling profiler. But the, of course, the determin deterministic profiler needs uh, some overhead. In current, uh, in, in current work, we, uh, the overhead is 30% 30, 30, 30 overhead. How to implement it? Uh, make a pipe-like data structure in, 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 in uh, over the virtual machine. Can you copy? Ah, good question. So, in this uh, implementation, it is copy, simple copy. So, but we need to uh, design uh, to remove uh, such a overhead. So this is the uh, uh, research topic, our uh, feature. Other question? possibility that we'll see experimental 1.9 releases to make some of these things more accessible for people to start testing and experimenting with? Support are uh, uh, already committed in the current one. And the memory management, new OS dependent memory management, and the fiber performance, uh, fiber uh, modifying is not committed. So we, uh, I go back to Japan and commit it. I don't know. Go to 
Ryan Eight is the compatibility stable version. So I I can't I can't say how to uh, anything. Do, do you have any <laughs> comments? About that? Thank you.